Hello and welcome to another episode of Implant Pokemon. On today's episode, we will be playing with Magnabore. It will actually be the Magnabore list I used at Wisconsin States, and uh, I did not do well at all. So here we have a pretty poor hand, if I'm honest, and uh, we're primed to get donked. If I see a Celebi Mewtwo deck, but I will go first. And it looks like we're going to be playing against Reshibor. Um, so I have an interesting decision to make here. Um, I think you can't really do anything on this first turn. The question is, do I want to end or do I want to save my ends for later? And uh, I honestly don't really know. I'm not going to get donked on this turn. I could just wait. Eh, we really don't have a shot here. So I am just gonna end. Hope for a Pecom, a Pichu, or a P. Let's see here, Pecom, and I will be denied a Pecom. So a fairly unproductive turn, and I s there's no real reason to attack into the Rush Ram. So I will just end my turn. So his deck should be slow and clumsy as well. And judging on his limited card set, uh, looks like he's playing with basic red and or just theme decks really. Embor comes in a tin, Reshram comes in a tin. Or a theme deck, that looks like theme deck Reshram. Yep, theme deck Reshram, so. Again, no real threat. Uh, my guess is he's gonna go for a pig knight. No, went for RDL. Well, that's going to be terrific, because I enjoy taking extra prizes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, we get my Pecom. I will just go ahead and get rid of Magneton. And let's just take a quick look here. Um, two Magnezones, at least one Embor. Half of our DL is prized, but we do have a Mewtwo, so we have plenty of options to play with here. And it uh, looks like we got both Pichus as well. So I should be all set to set up uh, without any drama here. We'll allow him to set up, but if I'm honest, he's probably just going to load up on Rush Rams and Powerful Basics. I'm going to load up on Magnezone. Alright, so we'll go ahead and playground. Obviously, you get a Tepig and three Magnemites. Tepig, Magnemite, Magnemite, Magnemite. And we'll see what my opponent does. Should have possibly attacked into the Rush Ram so that he could outrage my Pichu. So it looks like he's going to have a Nine Tails engine as well. So. I wake up. Depends. I guess if I don't top deck. So let's see if he gets a pig knight. Or if he has the candy. Nope. Goes for the pig knight. So he has a terrible hand, and I really don't want to end it away. I will be patient and not refresh his hand. So yeah. Ah, didn't top deck a. Did not top deck a twins, so we made the right choice. Um, just going to attach to Magnemite. And um, at this point, uh, since I don't have a twins, I kind of want to fall asleep. Get another turn here of trying to draw into a twins. And it looks like the game's glitched. Oh, no, I do fall asleep. Okay. And I stay asleep. So one of those three cards is going to have to be a catcher, and he will be able to blue flare. But again, I am just patiently waiting for... Well, looks like I'm going to stay asleep. Well, looks like we can evolve into Magneton. And pass. And I stay asleep. Now his hand's building up. Doesn't appear he actually has an energy though. 
does have a collector, which is funny. Because whatever collectors he has are dead. I'm actually surprised he has this many solid cards with just 132. So, Reshi X, that will... Yeah. So, Reshi X will take out Magnezone. But again, I just see four prizes. 2-1 RDL. Oh, I guess he could get the Embor. He undoes that. He, he just passes and I wake up. So, I'll just get Magnezone. Might as well just Magnetic Draw for one. Get another Magnezone. Don't have... Uh, I don't really have anything in my hand that I want to junk arm away. Obviously, I want Mewtwo. And, uh... Not much I can do. So I'm just going to Playground again, continue to stall. I should have actually looked to see. I have Twins, otherwise I could just be wasting my time. So, I'm going to annoy him and stay asleep again, but if he doesn't have Catcher, there's nothing he can do about it. And I stay asleep. Come on. Alright, now I can Junk Arm away. Four. Well, nothing. But I could get those cards out of my hand, which could be helpful. But then what do I have? I have nothing. He has a giant useless hand, though. Um, I think I'm going to hang on to my junk arm. You never know when you're going to need one. I have no real reason to use it. Right now I could uh, get myself into a stronger hand and we'll just drop them back down to six cards. Maybe we'll get a twins. So now I'm all primed. So now uh, I'm in the driver's seat to... Uh, Start knocking out pokes. Um, doubt he's... Eh, he could power up an RDL in one turn, so... I'm not going to drop all my fire onto Magnezone yet. Just go ahead and Magnetic Draw for one. And let's hope I wake up and hope he knocks me out. And I stay asleep. So he, of course, has Roast Rose. Man, how can you have that many cards out of 132? So he's going to start laying energy wherever he wants. Roast Revealing, he is in the driver's seat. His draw engine is going to be Nine Tails. Mine's going to be Magnezone. And I really just wish he had a catcher so he could knock something out. <laughs> So he finally hits a supporter. Let's see if he can snag a catcher. <laughs> and if he does, I will twins that oh, rocky helmet. That'll be helpful if I attack into it with my magnezone, because it'll put me in blue flare range. So at this point, I gosh, I wish I had woken up. So two twins, and uh, I'm just going to pass and wait patiently. We'll see what he does. He doesn't actually have a way to knock out my Magnezone. He could certainly knock out a Pig Knight. If he had a catcher, Magnemite would be a smart option for him. So he's going to go ahead and Roast Reveal. And I'm glad I didn't waste all those ends, because he's putting energy into the discard, and hopefully later on in the game, I'm just going to be able to end him, and he won't have a way to recover that energy. So I finally get knocked out. I will just go ahead and promote Magnezone. And... Could Twins for RDL. Probably going to get a Candy and a heavy ball. So I'll go ahead and play my heavy ball. Get a 
Magnezone? No. That was almost a bad misplay. Go ahead, drop Embor. Go ahead and rare candy Magnezone. And I uh, don't really have a reason to drop the Magnemite or the Tepig. I should probably leave that bench space open for an RDL. So at this point, I've pretty much committed to getting blue flared for the knockout on my next turn. And I'm alright with that. And let's take a look here. I think I'm going to candy away those, or er, junk arm away those basics and just grab a level ball. I think we only have one rare candy in here, so just drop my hand down. Grab that level heavy ball, rather. Just go ahead and use it. zone and looks like we have a pretty healthy amount of energy in our deck <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna take a prize here but he should be able to retaliate no problem so I'll use magnetic draw <clears throat> the catcher there would have been pretty pretty awesome but it just wasn't meant to be <clears throat> don't really want to do this, but I don't really have a choice without a catcher. So I'm just going to loss burn three energy for just the one prize. So I'm not going to be able to, I think about eight, I think I've won loss burning 10 energy, but that's a pretty big stress on the deck. So now he will, <clears throat> if he has the cards, actually we are in a really good spot. If he has the cards, he will be able to blue flare me, which I'd kind of prefer. I have my second Magnezone ready, and I have a twin, so it doesn't really matter. And I think I've only used one end, so I think we're in okay shape. So he's going to Roast Reveal, and let's just take a look at how much he's put in here at this point without recovery. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he has six energy in, a discard, in his discard pile, so he's going to need a fisherman to get that out. We'll see if he drew into it. Plus if he blues flare, that's gonna put him at a total of eight into the discard pile. So I think we can run him drive energy. There we go, there's energy retrieval. <coughs> so his rocky helmet to deal with things with more than 120 hit points worked pretty well. So now I'm thinking my plan is to just go ahead and uh, twins for a catcher and a lightning. I could twins for RDL and then uh, take out his RDL because I doubt he plays with the two full sets. But that would mean I'd have to draw into a lot of things. So I'll just go ahead Rare Candy, Magnezone. Go ahead and Twins for the Catcher and the Lightning. Let's see, how much energy would I need to take out an RDL? 147. He's only got one on it, so that's a pretty big ask. Um, and now I've forgotten. If my Catcher is prized, that would be pretty terrible. Stitch. So yeah, we are in an awkward spot. Um, half of RDL's prize can't do that. Catcher's prize can't do that. Oh, I don't want to dedicate... Let's do an N and a Lightning. I 
think that might be a safer play. So I've lost two Magnemites. So I'm just going to go ahead. I need to fish those out. draw and let's see here he probably is gonna have an answer here for my RDL and uh, I don't think I'm gonna have an answer for his if with what I have prized it's just not good If I end him, he may have trouble keeping up. So that could do it for Lost Burn. Maybe one more prize. So let's see. Well, there we go. Well, maybe we do have a play here. We'll see. So he must have the fire in his hand. But uh, I think... I think we're going to make it. Let's just see if we have a switch in the discard. We do have one energy in the discard. A fire. That's good to know. I think we can bleed him drive energy. So let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I think we can actually go for a Mewtwo here. Because he's about to discard a couple more fire, so. So now let's see if N can bring this game back. Oh wow, look at that. Um, so we need to drop our own RDL. Fandango energy onto it. Go ahead and get rid of this stuff because we don't need it. Let's see, do we have the energy retrieval? We do. It's possible but unlikely that we'll get what we need. Probably should have grabbed the Mewtwo. We'll see. See how it all plays out. So I'm gonna drop that. Magnetic draw. And that is a pretty magnetic draw um do we just go for it energy uh, that I need here. I could get an energy retrieval. And a fire, but I only have one energy in the discard instead of two. So I think we're just going to end them and see what happens. So, we're hoping. That's all we can do is hope that he has a dead hand. Man, that was almost it. So, if he can get two fire, he wins, and I lose. If he cannot, then I will take... Well, we hit each other for weakness. What is he going to do with that? Rush Ram? 
Nope, not gonna do it. I don't... With how slow he's playing, I don't think he has it. So I can actually, on this turn... Oh, he's gonna roast through you. See if he gets it. Fisherman, he wins. A lot of hoping. Tepig. It's tense. Very, very tense. And I think we won, ladies and gentlemen. I honestly think we have won. So what I'm gonna do here is twins for an energy retrieval. Because I need that in my hand. Where did you go? And I guess it doesn't matter, does it? So I'm gonna ozone buster. Hopefully I take two prizes. Oh, that's right, it hits for double weakness. Yes. So we're all set, we win. I cannot imagine any circumstance. Unless he gets a candy, embor, and four fire. Candy, embor, four, eh, I don't think he's got it. He could use bad boar to get me here. <laughs> I don't remember. Let's take a look. So now he's in desperation mode. I have a switch. And I've conserved my junk arms. It looks like I've only used one. So we're alright. So this is going to be a pretty big moment. Actually, a, switch, a junk arm will get us whatever we need. Because I can energy retrieval. Fandango those on to Tepig. And try to use... I think I can use every single card in my hand and then magnetic draw. So we'll go ahead and catch your Embor. Put in the Tepig. Grab nothing, so there they are. Two Junk Arms. That's all we need to hit, is a Junk Arm. Yep, and there's the energy that we need. All right, so we'll Magnetic Draw. Tepig, Pokecom, and Junk Arm! We got it. Alright, so we are all set. So I will just Junk Arm away. The Tepig. Oh, I drew a switch? That's funny. <laughs> I was so excited, I didn't even notice. And now we will go ahead. Good game. And Ozone Buster. For the win. So it was looking a little grim there. Had some key, pr <laughs> two more energy. We had two key prizes, one being half of RDL and one being Catcher that really set us back. Um, but we were able to come in, able to come in and uh, get two straight prizes with RDL and uh, take the win versus Reshabor. So uh, even with the slow start, um, we did uh, we were able to use a couple of twins and uh, claw ourselves right back into the game and uh, ultimately steal it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video.